Hello and welcome to the Spotlight episode on Le Saint-Pierre, a quick look at lesser-known locomotives from the early days of steam. Saint-Pierre is the oldest surviving member of a type of locomotive which was once ubiquitous in northern and western France, la Budicom. Saint-Pierre was built by Alcard Budicom et Compagnie at the works at Sotteville near Rouen in 1844. The company had been founded in 1841 by two expatriate British engineers, William Bob Budicom and William Alcard. Their works were established in the former Bishop's Palace at Chartreux. They delivered their first locomotive in 1842, and locomotives to this day are still built at Sotteville. Sadly, with the rise in xenophobic nationalism during the 1848 revolution in France, Alcard, Boudicom and many of the British workers were forced to flee back to Britain. Boudicom had been employed by the Grand Junction Railway in Britain under Joseph Locke at their locomotive works at Edge Hill in Liverpool to find a way of preventing breaking crank axles. The design for what would later be erroneously termed the crew type or Allen type and what should be correctly termed la Boudicom, or the Boudicom type as it was in France, took place contemporaneously, initially at Edge Hill, between 1839 and 1841. Joseph Locke, incidentally, was also the chief engineer of the Chemin de Fer de Paris à Rouen, or the railway between Paris and Rouen, and it's clear from his correspondence with Boudicom that the design of the resulting locomotive was that of Boudicom, and furthermore, that the locomotive design for France and the Grand Junction would be one and the same, producing a standard locomotive. Key features of the Boudicom design was a wrought iron frame between the smoke box and firebox, and this carried inside bearings for the driving wheels. The carrying wheels had outside bearings supported by an outside iron frame. The cylinders were outside, sloping at an angle of 10 degrees, but with horizontal slide valves. These valves were worked by Boudicom's own Gab valve gear. This utilised four fixed eccentrics, each eccentric rod terminating in drop hooks or gabs with opposed pairs of jaws. These gabs could be raised or lowered from a pin on a rocking shaft, which in turn drove the valve spindles. Because the valve drive was indirect, this was known as left-handed valve gear. Furthermore, to engage forward gear, it meant the reversing lever on the footplate had to be pulled backwards. And if anybody's seen the film The Titfield Thunderbolt, you will see this type of valve gear in action with the restored Lion from 1838. Saint-Pierre was one of a batch of 40 locomotives built at Sotteville for the Chaman de Fer de Paris à Rouen. In 1856, all the small competing railways in France were grouped into six major railway companies. These were the Chaman de Fer du Nord, or Northern Railway, Chaman de Fer de Est, or Eastern Railway, Chaman de Fer de Ouest, or Western Railway, Chaman de Fer de paris Orléans, the paris Orleans Railway, Chaman de Fer de Midi, and the Chemin de Fer de Paris à Lyon et à la Méditerranée, which ran a main line from Paris via Dijon and Lyon to Marseille. Each company had an absolute monopoly in the geographical area which they served, rather like the big four companies in Britain in the 1930s. The Paris and Rouen line became part of the Chemin de Fer d'Ouest. The booty type was incredibly popular and long-lived in France, the first of the type had been built with small fireboxes suitable for burning coke, but this had to be imported from Britain. The second generation was therefore built with coal in mind and thus had larger fireboxes. The Budicom type appeared both as 222 passenger locomotives, as 240 mixed traffic locomotives, 042 goods engines, and also as 060 goods engines, or locomotives at Edition Total. Another problem encountered in France was that at speed the inclined cylinders damaged the track and made the locomotives unstable. So many of them were rebuilt on the principles as stand by Jean Barthélemy Polonceau, who advocated horizontal cylinders. 
After the 60-odd Budicons owned by the Chemin de Fer de l'Est, Saint-Pierre was one of 25 which converted to well tanks between 1860 and 1865. A tank engine in France, of course, being known as a locomotive tender. At the same time, she was numbered from 33 to 131, and continued to work light passenger trains between Paris and Dieppe for the rest of the 19th century. Saint-Pierre, or as she was then simply 12010, was retired in 1916, and preserved at the works at Sotteville. She was then restored by the French National Railways, or the Société Nationale de Chemins de Fer Français, in 1946, so that she could celebrate her slightly delayed centenary. This restoration work saw the removal of the well tank and the building of a new tender. She visited Britain in 1951 as part of the Festival of Britain. A further restoration took place in 1967. Saint-Pierre can now be seen at the French National Railway Museum, at the Cité d'Autrin Museum at Mulhouse, a museum which is certainly well worth a visit. So that's been a quick look at Saint-Pierre, the last of her type in France, and the oldest surviving Boudicom alias crew-type locomotive, being built a year before Columbine in Britain. I hope you've enjoyed this foray into French railway history. And do let me know if you'd like to see any other European locomotives appear on this channel. If you'd like to find more about Boudicom and the crew type, check out my video on Columbine, the basics. And see you all next time on Rail Story.